Welcome to Four Knots. Uh, Nays just um, wrapping up their second uh, home game from end of league against Old Wesley. Uh, unfortunately, a heavy defeat here today. Uh, Nays 20, Old Wesley uh, 39. So, um, look on my left here, I have Nays captain D Donald Conroy, um, Connor McFerry on my left here. Fionn Higgins and James O'Loughlin. So look lads, uh, I suppose it's disappointing and I understand that for you today, but I, I, I want to focus really on the first 70 mini minutes of that game because I think there's huge positives to take out of that. Uh, so Nays uh, leading uh, up until just before half time there, uh, Nays taking the lead uh, with the first try of the game and uh, James that was you getting in over the line there uh, in I think it was the sixth 16th minute um, and some superb kicking from Craig Rollinson today so I really want to focus on the positives of the game and we went in there uh, probably against the odds at 10-all uh, uh, against Old, Old West.
Wesley at half time. Uh, Wesley coming out then scoring an early uh, opening penalty in the second half as they had done in the first half. But Nace then taking the lead in the game right up to the uh, 70th minute uh, was when Wesley took, took the lead again. And I think uh, it was a credit to Nace. I think it was an outstanding performance just up until the 70th minute. Obviously, uh, three tries in the last 10 minutes, very difficult to handle. But I suppose, Donald, to you first, just to hear your your read of that game and what were your takeaways from it? Um, yeah, I thought we did very well. Uh, first 55, 60 minutes, uh, we were on and uh, just kind of let it slip towards the end. I suppose big momentum shifts. They get two kicks to the corner, great kicks, 50-22, and then we're under pressure again. So uh, we can take some positives out of it, but it's just the finishing that kind of needs a bit of work on. So we'll rally together during this week uh, and then hopefully we'll get the job done then next week up in, Bo or up in uh, Queens, Belfast. Uh, well said, Donald. And I think if, if you look at the um, step up in performance from the last uh, two or three games, I think it was enormous. Um, yeah, uh, for you, Connor, I think a massive uh, performance out there. You were really in the thick of it today. A lot of really good carries from you and some amazing tackling, I thought. So uh, how did you see that game today? And, you know, what, what are you taking away from it? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was a real physical battle. Um, I always seem to be in the thick of it. Um, yeah, it was. They brought it to us, but like Donald said, for 65 minutes there, we can be proud and hold our heads high. We we gave it shit and then just fell away for 10 minutes or so. Then a couple of easy tries and the game sort of slips away. But um, yeah, we can take a few positives onto next week um, and yeah, go get a win. Very good, very good. Um, Fionn, uh, a try for you in the second half and a very important score as well um, and, a, and a really strong performance from you throughout the game. Uh, you know, what are you going to take away from it today? Um, yeah, look, um, I think the game as a whole kind of ebbed and flowed like Tony kind of touched on. Um, I think from a personal point of view, obviously happy to get in, but it doesn't mean much when we come off the back of the wrong side of it. So going into next week now, we've got a big trip up away It's our last of the year. So we know what we need to do, but it's time now to... Pull, stop pulling the punches and essentially just go up and do the job with it. Well said, Pion. Um, so, look, uh, I hear you. It's time to execute now and we need to get some points out of the last two games. I'm pretty confident uh, uh, we'll do that. Uh, James, maybe the final word to you. So, you know, what are your takeaways today and what do you think we need to work on maybe for the next two games? Yeah, we said, same as you said, we were decent for 60, 65, but against a good team, it's not enough. We have to be, we have to do it for 80 next week and 80 the week after that, and I think sure that probably won't do, so very clear what we need to do, and uh, we're on the right track, but we just need to do it now. Well, well said. So I think we'll wrap up with those words. We're, we're clear what we need to do, and uh, we're on the right track. So let's take that positivity into the next game against Queens, and I wish you guys the very best of luck in that. So, Laz, thanks very much. Uh, Richie, back to you. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks.